belong to. I mean, ultimately what it boils down to is finding a way of making peace with who you are. Well, there's a new production in Berkeley is being promoted as a comedy about identity, anxiety, and what it means to be to belong in America. It is a solo show called Out of Character with actor Ari Stachel as the writer and star on stage. And it's playing right now at the Berkeley Repertory Theater. And you can catch it through July 30th. I highly recommend it. And look who's here joining us right now. I'm Hi, here. Ari. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming in and waking up early. You know, when you, whenever someone talks about a one-man show, mm -hmm. that's hard because literally you're the only person on stage. So whether it goes good <laughs> yeah. or bad, it's all on you. Yes. What motivated you to do something like this? Uh, well, I think that in my field, a lot of times you can be very disconnected from the stories you're telling. Um, and in my case, as a Middle Eastern American man who was raised in the Bay Area and really dealt with a lot of questions about my identity. Um, it wasn't satisfying enough for me, frankly, to just do run-of-the-mill work that most actors get opportunities for. Um, I really felt compelled to tell this story, which um, I'm learning as I'm doing the run that it actually connects to many, many other Americans. And I think there's this gap um, in what is out there in that there's a lot of us who feel like we're American and, and we're starting to tell our stories. So I felt like it was the, the most useful way that I can use what I had built my entire life on, which is to become a storyteller. And a lot of this is your own personal experience. I mean, things that you've actually gone through. Yeah. And you do talk a lot about, about your upbringing mm -hmm. and your heritage. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how that sort of ties into your show. Well, when I originally started writing the piece, I was really focused on my identity as a Middle Eastern American person and specifically about what the choices I made in my life after 9-11 mm -hmm. and um, how difficult that was for me at school. And so I spent a lot of times trying to appropriate different identities to fit in at school and spent a lot of years sort of denying my dad and, and playing up other heritages. And I mean, it's, it really talks about code switching as survival. Um, ultimately, though, it, the, the exploration and the writing process led me to understand that it was really about a lifelong battle with anxiety. Wow. And that ended up being the dramatic thread for the show. And so it's about how anxiety and identity intersect and interplay, and it's also funny. And I know it doesn't sound funny, but it is funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is very serious topics, but I think a yeah. lot of people can relate to, you know, being anxious and feeling that. And you, I think we see more of it now anyway, because social media is such a big part of our lives. So yeah. people share more. Yeah. So I think it's important to have someone like you on stage talking about that for people to connect. Well, it's, it's really freeing for me. I mean, we're all going through it and, and I had felt this tension my entire life. And I think part of that tension was suppressing it and, and hiding it. Um, and and, and I went the complete opposite direction, which is talking about it in front of people. But it's been super healing for me and I think for people in the audience, frankly. Yeah. What about bringing the show home? Because you are from Berkeley. Yeah. I mean, you went to school in Oakland, yep. a performing arts school. Mm -hmm. So what about bringing it home? Well, I think it's actually the most loaded run that I will ever have because I have so much of my family here and it's about them. And so people are seeing show themselves on stage for the first time, which is a little scary, um, but there's also nothing better. I mean, I think theater in its ideal form is about connecting and this really has connected to people. And so it feels like I'm sort of taking these fragmented pieces of my life. I've spent so many years trying to be this, trying to be that, trying to be this. And this is a very naked, honest version of my humanity. Wow. And, um, and it feels just really healing to come back and be like, this is who I am. Um, so brave, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is, you know, I, there was no other alternative for me as an artist. I think that's our, our role, literally. Oh, well, so. I'm, gl I'm glad you did. I know it's gotten really good reviews and people are excited to see it. Yeah, Tell everyone fun. how to get tickets and how long it's playing at the Berkeley Rep. Uh, you get tickets uh, if you go online, berkeleyrep.org, um, uh, or DM me and I'll direct you a link <laughs> or something on Instagram. It's Ariel Stachel. <laughs> um, but it's really worth coming. I mean, it's, it's, it's really touched people. And, and my favorite part of the show, frankly, is leaving and connecting with audience members after. And the points of entry are unbelievable because um, we're talking about race, we're talking about anxiety. And so there are people in their 70s of Asian backgrounds telling me how much they relate to my story. Then there's young people who want to be actors who are like, hey, I'm really anxious. And I haven't seen anyone. Uh, I, I mean, it is connected to so many different people. Um, so I think I think there's something for everyone to sort of 
feel connected to. Well, it's placed through June 30th. I hope people get out there and check it out. We really appreciate you taking time to come out and tell us about your show and coming back home. Thank you so much, Ari. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. All right, Jess.